Hello and welcome back to another beer review. I'm Ben the Beard, and today I'm going to be doing a Vault City beer. This is one I'm really, really looking forward to. This is a part of their sh uh, Sweet Shop series, and this is Giant Raspberry Blueberry Bubblegum Bottles at 8.2%. There it is. Look at that. Um, this, yeah, like I said, looking forward to this. I love, absolutely love raspberry and blueberry. Color bottles, uh, I forgot what they were called then. Um, yeah, pink and blue bottles, really, really love them, always love them. Full of E numbers, and as a child, they send you off the wall. They give you crackhead determination, it's brilliant. I love them, they're just so good. It's a vegan friendly beer. Um, yeah, let's get into it. The guff says Sweet Shop Sours. Um, take a trip down memory lane with our Sweet Shop Sours inspired by your favourite vintage sweets. Nostalgia comes in waves alongside aromas of flavor, aromas and flavors of raspberry, blueberry, bubblegum, and zingy sherbet, dialed uh, dialed up to a giant eight point two percent. If that isn't enough, uh, if that isn't enough to get your taste buds tingling, we've turned this modern sour beer electric blue to resemble your favorite uh, bubblegum sweets. I've seen a picture of this. I know what it looks like. There's the guff. So I know what this beer looks like, and oh, can't wait to get into it. So let's get into it. There's a lot. You see that? That is a full, full beer. Whoa, it looks good. Now, I know my camera has a problem with being blue, but... There's the beer. Look at that. So we have this gorgeous, gorgeous navy blue beer. Let me try and get a light on it. Navy blue beer. No light is getting through that top. And that, that head is compact and it is bright blue. That is fluorescent blue. You can go nightclubbing and see this. That looks gorgeous. Let's get a smell and see what we get, shall we? Bubblegum, raspberry, blueberry, it's all there, bubblegum, um, it smells exactly, exactly like the sweet. Oh, it smells great, it smells like it's full of E numbers. Hey, <sighs> two mouthful for body and carb. Carbs nice and light, body around a medium, medium body, <coughs> sour scale. That is <coughs> a little nice kick to it. It's still going now. Um, a sour scale. That's going to be a nice. <coughs> it's a nice ten. It starts off quite light. But the longer you leave it, the, the more sour it gets. It's only really going away now. I've still got it in the cheeks. It's still sour. This is going to turn my tongue blue. It's going to be one of these. Um, Yeah, it's... Oh. Let's get a big old taste, shall we? Cheers. Now, if there's one thing you can't critique Fault City on, it's what it's getting struggling to get the flavour into the can. This is another example of them absolutely smashing it, putting what they say on the can into the into the drink, and this tastes bob on like blue collar bottles, blue and pink collar bottles, um, blue raspberry. Oh, it's great. Um, it's really, really sweet. You get these nice hits of raspberries, um, nice juicy blueberries, and bubblegum. And you've got a nice sherbetty kick in there as well. It's all It all comes together really, really well. Uh. <sighs> Pardon me. Yeah, it comes together really, really well. It's flavourful. It's 
sour. It is kick-ass. This is one of the better beers Vault City have done ever. It's just bang. It's just bang on. It's exactly what I asked for. It's exactly what I expected as well. I expected what they said. What was it? Raspberry, blueberry, bubblegum. That's what I expected, and that's what I got. And then the hit of sherbet that it says that's that. It's, it's great. It just works really well. They've done it again. So, with that, I'm going to go away and enjoy this. It's a fantastic beer. I mean, look at that head. It's there. It's not moving. It's like that foam that you used to make in science class. You pour, you pour the two liquids in, it just shoots out this foam that just stayed there. It's like that. Anyway... So, Vault City, Sweet Shop Sours, um, Giant Raspberry Blueberry Bottlegum, uh, Giant Raspberry Blueberry Bubblegum Bottles at 8.2%. The 8.2 is very well hidden as well. Don't get any sort of hint that it's 8.2. Um, but this is what they should be doing. Should keep it at 7 8 because that's where the flavour comes out really well with their beers. Putting it down to 4s and 3s, the flavour's not coming out. This, it's doing it. It's doing what I, I want from Vault City, which is great. So... That, out of 10, is a full 10 out of 10. It's very, very, very good. I can't fault it. It's exactly what I asked for. So, if you have had it before, please let me know. Let me know what you think, if you like it. If you don't, if you've not had it, I'll leave a link to Vault City down below, where you can pick one up, I think. I don't know. There's a couple in the, in the Sweet Shop series. Uh, I've got another one in the fridge, which I am not really looking forward to, because I don't like the sweets in real life. But I'm still going to review it for you, because I've been surprised with other stuff, like pumpkin spice and peanut butter. I don't like them in real life, but when it's in a beer, I love it. So I'm looking, I'm hoping this is the same. Anyway, uh, Vault City's website will be down below. If you like the video, thumbs up, thumbs down, all that usual stuff. If you want to subscribe, consider doing so, because the show must go on, etc, etc, so on and so forth. And I'll see you later. Bye.